This was called the Don't Feed the Bears obstacle. It's a common ACTA or uh, American Competitive Trail Horse Association obstacle where you have a line like a lariat or another piece of rope going around a field expedient pulley system, in this case a bow gate, could be a tree branch. You got the bottom part of the rope hooked to a bag and the idea is to ride through uh, a couple cones or an entry point, uh, secure the rope, pull that bag replicating uh, a bag full of uh, food stocks when you're out camping to get it up high enough to keep away from the bears. Hence the name, don't feed the bears. The problems you're going to have is, uh, is one, if your horse isn't used to objects like bags or something going up over their head, they want to sack him out on that, something to try at the house before you ever go to a ride like this. It's also good for the horse to see something above him that could be potentially scary. A couple tricks to this is as you're riding up to the bag, if your horse is a little bit troubled by that bag, you know, don't force him. You know, you've got some time, so stop. Let him check it out. If he can drop his head, you may want to have to touch the bag with his nose to figure out it ain't going to do him any harm. You know, do that before you move on to grabbing the rope. If you grab the rope, it'd be a good idea not to grab it in just one hand, coiled like this. Same thing about how you lead a horse on a lead line as if this rope became caught or your horse took off on you. You don't want this rope to, to, uh, to uh, coil shut on your hand, potentially hurting you or jerking you from the saddle. So I'm going to put that coil in my hand just like I'm roping, and I'm going to control the rope with this hand. So as I back up, you know, if, this, if the horse's head gets close to that rope, you know, I can move it up or move it away so it's not going to trouble him. And again, you know, the objects to back him straight up through a series of cones, hold him there, show the horse is uh, not troubled by it, and you've got control of them. And I'm going to lower the bag to the ground, change the rope in my hand, and go put it back to where I found it. And again, that's called the Don't Feed the Bears obstacle. Uh, just a couple observations from the last actor ride I was on where a couple horses and riders had a little trouble with it. I hope this helps. You all have a safe journey.